This is a no bullshit guide to what you need and won't hear anywhere else. Beginners need more time. No, you're not bad at clicking or passu because of a technique. You just need more hours in aim trainers. Aim training is a long-term investment, not a short-term benefit. What you need is the right scenarios at the right difficulty for the right amount of time. This is where a coach like me can come in handy. But if you don't want to shell out the money, keep watching for some answers. Putting the right skills to the test is key. A huge issue I see is beginners playing scenarios that are too hard and intermediates not knowing how to push themselves. If you just want to take one tip away from all of this, it's this. Figure out your difficulty level and play scenarios that challenge both your weakness and assisting skills. For example, smoothness is an assisting skill to reactive. So if you're constantly under tracking in that reactive, look to play some smoothness to indirectly help this. Scores don't always equal success. Scores can be misleading. People get used to spamming scenarios which may work for beginners but then they stop seeing real aim improvement. High scores in a scenario don't actually mean you'll succeed in game where each fight and each enemy constantly varies. Some may get a high score and never play that scenario again causing that skill to deteriorate. In their mind they achieved something when all they improved is their peak aim and not their average aim which is actually what you'll be using in game. Set difficulty levels that work for you. Know if you learn best from easy or hard scenarios. If easy works better, build a playlist of mostly easy scenarios and add one hard scenario per aim category. This way you build skills while still challenging yourself. Build good habits. Aim training is about building good habits and circumventing bad ones. Don't play pro routines blindly. What works for them may not work for you. Instead, work on scenarios that build good habits to avoid falling into bad ones simply to push your benchmark. Focus on foundational skills. Don't get too specific too soon. If you main Valorant, for example, don't limit yourself to only static. Build a broad foundation with tracking that helps your mouse control and indirectly your Valorant aim. This way you develop solid fundamentals for any situation you'll be put in. Speed and reactivity are key for in-game performance. Pushing yourself is what differs a good aimer from a bad one. But it's not just about putting in the time. 30 minutes of focused aim training is better than hours spent half paying attention. Pushing yourself with solid focus even if that time is shorter for way better results. Experiment with techniques. Just because I or someone else suggests a technique doesn't make it right for you. My videos are meant to provide the raw information so you can decide what works. Many people misunderstand and want to be told exactly what to do. Experiment because everyone aims differently and requires different techniques. A video might not be right for you but helps others so keep that in mind. Stop taking advice blindly. Nobody knows exactly what will work for you and most advice you hear are usually things that have worked for that person rather than things that will work for you. Stop listening to someone just because you see good scores and start seeing if what is taught is right for you and it's the right time for you to use that technique. Aim training isn't a one size fits all, so figure out if the techniques suit your levels and goals. There's actually no such thing as right or wrong, just right or wrong for you. Benchmarks should be done in game. Use your in-game performance as your main benchmarks rather than following a generic fundamental playlist. These playlists often encourage cheesing which boosts scores but don't translate well into actual gameplay. Sense, gear and settings don't actually matter that much. It's easy to blame your sensitivity or gear but that's rarely the real issue. You're just lacking skill. From my time coaching I can see that most of you just need to get more comfortable with easier tasks instead of following setups you see other people using. Sensitivity in gear matters less than the skills you build them with. Feeling like you need to constantly change things are an ego thing so leave your ego at the door when you're aim training. You're probably not 
average yet. Don't fool yourself into thinking you're an average aimer. See, 95% of you are absolute trash. Yes, that includes you too. In aim training, you're hitting a target with no recoil or movement. So if you're still missing with no challenge, you're not close to being able to do that in game. Start hitting the basics even if your in-game performance isn't rapidly climbing, especially in those early stages. And I know this is a hard one. Give everything a proper time and consider your aim timings. More about this in my FAQ in the description. Don't ignore movement scenarios. Movement scenarios are the most underrated field in aim trainers. Once you start playing these, you'll start seeing in-game results, no matter what your game of choice is. Reflex and information scenarios are key for FPS. These scenarios are the best choice for Valorant and CS because they replicate the realistic need for speed and punishment when missing. Just make sure you build up the fundamentals first to make the most out of these, otherwise you'll risk developing bad habits. Watch out for score boosting techniques. Be careful listening to people who sell you on specific techniques. As most of them are specifically designed for boosting scores, creating the illusion of progress rather than in-game benefit. All my techniques and way same chain has and always will be in-game focused. Skip VOD reviewing if you're a beginner. If you're just bad, which most of you guys are, VOD reviewing is actually a time waster, which is shocking to hear, right? But sticking to fundamentals is all you need right now. As your skills improve, old problems will naturally disappear and new ones will begin to surface. Aim training doesn't have to be advanced if you're new, so don't overcomplicate things early on and realize things take time to have an effect. Effect. Stop spamming in static. This is a horrible habit which will lead to missed shots in game. Focus instead on visual confirmations. Hit wide walls to work micros, poke ball for clean lines and target switching for speed. Stop switching settings to cheese scores. Don't keep changing sensitivity, mouse or theme just to boost a score. This again creates the illusion of progress in aim chainer but doesn't build real aim skill. Yeah, you're progressing, but at that point, you've switched from aim training to Kovacs training. Know if you respond to punishment or rewards. Understand if you improve more from being punished or rewarded. See, punishments can include never miss scenarios and reflex scenarios, while rewarding scenarios is something like adaptive. So that's it, some quick tips from basically all of my videos. These were kind of sped run, so if you're interested in more in-depth tips, I'd recommend looking at each video field. I have almost 300 videos so whatever question you have i guarantee i have an answer for it if you enjoyed this content and would like to join the discord or perhaps get in coached yourself do hit the link in the description